What's up YouTube? That's it here. Today we're playing some more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl content. We're gonna go find a game right now. Who we got? Survey says Crypto Arcanine. All right, they have Arcanine in the name, which makes me think they may be better than we think because that's what we actually, that's the site that we use to play VGC like online tournaments. So maybe they're pretty good. We're testing some Aerodactyl today. Aerodactyl and Alakazam. Good stuff. Not using any legends, right? Aerodactyl's not really a legend. It hatches from the old amber. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Let's see what their team looks like. You know, I've actually been wondering. I hope that we eventually fight Weedle Twin Needle. I don't know what their actual, like, BDSP, like, um team like name is but i hope we play them eventually this team is probably not weedle though i know weedle was using a uh, scissor though so hopefully maybe, maybe i should probably just dm them and let's set up a game if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments a bdsp singles match me versus weedle because i know we both we're basically the only people that still play this format so let's see what do we want to do against this our team is much better than theirs i think that rotom is a great weed but it would be revealing the fact that we're scarfed. And if they had a scarf final gambit user, which that team definitely might, because there's two mons on the team that get it, we don't necessarily want to have that happen to us. So Alakazam's a good weed. Aerodactyl's a good weed. I think Aerodactyl is a good weed. It gets countered by Scizor. We can just hard switch to our Scizor at that point. That's that's Swords Dance City. I don't like that. Leading Blissey, though, is bad versus Lucario. It's hard to say what we should actually do here. I think I'm going to weed... Oh, we don't want to throw away our Garchomp for some Final Gambit weed. There's literally two Final Gambit mods on that team. I think you have to lead a Sashmon. Um, in terms of Defog, they don't have it other than anything other than Scizor. So I am going to lead Aerodactyl. And realistically, I would probably just hard switch to Rotom from the Aerodactyl lead. So let's see how this goes. Oh man, I'm gonna start thinking every single person I fight is Weedle. <laughs> Cause like, I know they've been playing a ton of VDSP and like this team's like a team they would use. But let's see, uh, X-Plowd is not that big of a deal. Big shiny x -Plowd starting things off. For those guys that don't know who Weedle Twin Needle is, I'm gonna leave a link to their channel in the comments. Please go check them out. They make probably some of the best edited content for Pokemon Battles on YouTube. I'm sure almost everyone here knows who they are. I'm just gonna pop a rocks. Uh, this is gonna cost me my Sash. They're probably going to go for like an Ice Beam or something. I'm assuming they're Choice Bexed, realistically, right? Boom Burst! The big burst of booms! That's not really Spexed. Do I need to keep this? Like, realistically. It's not good for Scizor. We could switch to our Scizor. Yeah, we'll just switch to our Scizor. We have Roost. They're, I think they're Specs, and they shouldn't do more than half here. And then, let's see if they're switching as well to their Scizor. And then we can just let them roost and then hard switch away. They're just going to stay in and boom burst. Bro, the deeps. Oh my goodness, that's so much damage. Oh my goodness, did you see how much damage that was? Bro, I'm literally Sizzle out here. If they're full speed, they do Oko. I think you just have to bullet punch and just take the L. Right? Wow. Would they be full speed? Can we get away with a U-turn? What would we even U-turn into at that point? Nothing. I'll take the I'll take the uh, bullet punch and then like uh, come in with like Garchomp and just earthquake it out. It's fine with me. Big damage. Big boom burst, baby. Cool. The fact that I don't die there is actually amazing, which means I get a second bullet punch off. We don't need Scizor for anything in this matchup. They have things like Cranidos, Zangus, and Lucario, but like Scizor is kind of just like uh, get set up on Mon versus those guys. So it's okay that we're gonna lose our Scizor here. Puts that thing within a range of getting KO'd by the rest of our team. And the fact that we have rocks up, are, it's really, really nice for bringing out Garchomp here. So Garchomp's a perfect Pokemon to bring out here. It's good versus Lucario after we break Sash. It's good versus, uh, uh, what is that, Craniados? So like Garchomp's going to be great. You do not want to sub here, though, because Boom Burst goes through Substitute. So we just want to get the KO here. Go for the big EQ, baby. Big damage. Awesome. Yeah, I respected fast x -Bloud here. I, I definitely respected it. So we traded out our Scizor, which is our only Defog user, for an x -Bloud, But we got rocks out of the trade. So that's, I think that's actually pretty good for us here. Holy moly, I will just say that I love playing BDSP content. And I know like a lot of people want to see it on YouTube. So I think I'm going to try and do in like one video or two videos a week of BDSP content because it's just so freaking good. Let's see. Should we pop a sub here if they're Intimidate? Big rocks damage. Are you intimidated or not? Yeah, you are. 
you're gonna will o wisp or play rough that's the real question here i'll pop the sub in case you wisp if you go for the player we'll switch out the hard switch bro which means when you bring that thing back in it's not gonna have intimidate because i got a sub up nice scissor so we're gonna sub we're gonna go for a sword stance here that was a good play i like that you're taking too much rocks damage in your arcanine in my opinion but you know we're in a good spot here we're in a great spot and we use the aerodactyl <laughs> we definitely did be using aerodactyl here so yeah let's just go for a sd and they can try and break our sub BP might not break that unless you're orb or banded. Okay. It's fine with me. Big SD baby. I think I'm gonna go for the the earthquake here. I think it can actually get the KO on a scissor. We'll see if we have we'll see if it's leftovers. I think you're banded, actually. Like realistically, I do be thinking you're banded out here. Cause if you bullet punch me again. Bro, you're gone. This is your only deep box user, and you take way more damage from rocks than I do, yeah? You're gonna go down here. Oof, that's so banded. That's the most banded ban that I've ever seen in my life. I don't even think we're within range for Arcanine E-Speed after Leftover's Tick. And so Cranidos could be Scarfed. That could be a problem. It could be Arcanine E-Speed plus Lucario E-Speed. Both those would definitely get the KO here. It just feels so good playing a format without Dynamax, right? Because, like, I'm thinking of all these cool combos I can do and all these cool things and all these ways that I can mitigate damage. And, uh, you know, all those... All of those work because our opponents can't Dynamax. It just feels great, right? So, second Intimidate. We're down at neutral now because we got a plus two, but they've Intimidated us twice. So, yeah, we can just go for the EQ here. They're going to probably go for the E-Speed or a hard switch. There's the E-Speed. I don't think this kills unless you're orbed. Almost, buddy. Good thing we didn't pop that big sub. We're going to take the KO here. You're out of Intimidates. We're at neutral, which means if you want to come with Lucario, you're not going to be able to Swords Dance in my face. You're going to have to E-Speed me out, and I will let I will force you to E-Speed me out because uh, basically you fought of like three of your monsters, Garchomp. The power of Leftovers, man. Literally the best Pokemon, the best item in the game. But we'll see. If it's Craniados, that means you're probably Scarfed. And if, it's, if you're going to go Craniados, I'll probably switch. Yeah, it has to be Lucario. It's go crazy. I just want to say this. It's so crazy how much I know about singles and how much I know about how to play Gen 4 singles. I think that's probably the reason why you guys even, like, still watch the content realistically. Because, like, I can announce what they need to do five or six turns ahead of, like, what actually has to happen. That just goes to show how much Gen 4 singles I actually played back in the day. Now, in this situation, you do not want to switch because the only way we lose is if they get up a Swords Dance with Lucario. You just let them KO the Garchomp and then repin with something else. You know, maybe repin with like Rotom um, or Alakazam in that situation. We don't need this Garchomp for anything else, basically. So, yeah, they're gonna try. If they try and Swords Dance, it's not even wrong. Yeah, E Speed's completely fine. You take a Rough Skin Tick. And you didn't get to Sword Stance. That's a win-win. That's two wins at the same time. We can come with Alakazam. I think Rotom's going to be just a little bit better. Because we do be outspeeding with Rotom. And if you go for a close combat, then Alakazam will be able to come in and deal the big damage. You don't want to bring out the Blissey. You don't want to bring out the uh, Aerodactyl just yet. I think there's nothing wrong with just going for a, a Hydra. You have Zangoose. You have Craniados. And you have yeah, Zangoose, Craniados, Lucario. Hydra Pump will get the KO. Probably. We could Volt Switch. No, I think Hydro's fine. Even if I miss the Hydro and you close combat me, or I think we're okay. E-Speed's also fine. Are you banded here as well? That looks to be banded. Or, or crit. Sorry, it's a crit. So Hydro hits. We do be taking those. Crit E-Speed. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Big damage. We crit them right back. Oh my goodness. You do be loving to see that. Okay, so you have Craniados, which we kind of want to save Rotom for, which means you're going to be going Zangus here. Which again, in these situations... The only way that they can actually, like, really, really threaten us is through the use of, like, a Swords Dance. And so we do not want that to happen. All we need to do is outspeed the Cranidos and pin it. We can almost beat it with Blissey. We can definitely do stuff with Alakazam. So I think in this situation, the best play is probably to go just Hydro Pump again. We are Scarfed here. And just make it so they can't Swords Dance or get, like, a Toxic Orb boost. Hydro Pump, we do get the hit. This will probably just KO. Awesome. Yeah. Zangus is a great mon, but it's frail. And the fact that we broke the potential sash that it had, really, really good for us. Which means your last mon's Cranidos. If you're Scarfed, we have the mons that beat it. If you're not Scarfed, we just dumpster you with Hydro Pump. 
We do be taking those. The power of Stealth Rocks, man. Obviously, our team was a bit better than our opponents this game, but that doesn't mean we didn't respect their options the best that we could. We do miss the Hydro Pump. Never lucky. Rock Polish. This is the one shot. The Mom Spaghetti opportunity they had to sweep this game. Are they going to go for a Head Smash? Don't they take a Recoil from that? Or do, does, this, does that thing's ability not let it take Recoil? I mean, either way, you just might as well part of the Rotom and see what they got. Hydro. We still on speed. We missed two Hydros. Literally never lucky. They have Rock Slide. Literally the unluckiest situation the world has ever seen. Seriously, that's what that was. That was the world's unluckiest situation. We might outspeed Aerodactyl. Might. If Rotom was enough to outspeed, this might be. But like, I can't believe we just missed double Hydros. Talk about, like, I think that's a perfect example of showing how important it is to stop your opponent from setting up. We missed two Hydros and then got two setup moves. So let's see if they outspeed the Aerodactyl and can hit a Rock Slide. They can crunch us. So they have Crunch. Rock Slide, Rock Polish, probably EQ is their last move. Not that much Aerodactyl can still do in this situation. <sighs> Blissey won't die, and we can Thunder Wave. And that will make it so Alakazam outspeeds and can go for a nasty plot Psy Shock. But that's still not great. I don't think Blissey will die here. I really don't. Let's go. Thunder Wave. Rock Slide. They might be like Lum. Yo, Blissey at 49? Blissey Thunder Wave? Blissey hits. Yes, please, Blissies. Trying our best right here. I wonder if it's actually better to use two Shadow Balls with Alakazam, as opposed to, like, Nasty Pox. We can get a special D-drop on the Shadow Ball, which we might actually need. I don't think it's better to go for a Psy Shock. Very, very close game. If we get any Paras here, we win. We take it. We win. Close! See, we gave this guy literally one turn to set up we gave him one turn to set up and he almost reverse swept us with the ramparados holy moly yeah we do be taking those there's no reason to soft build out you just want to stick damage as, po as much as possible rock polish he's want to go speedy boys there's nothing wrong with that i think that's probably a good play i'm trying to remember what this guy's ability is it's either like sheer force or like the no recoil move and I don't know if they can flinch Alakazam. Like, I don't know if they have enough, like, let's see what happens. They obviously can outspeed our Blissey here, but like, Alakazam should be fine. Fully paralyzed, yeah, we're still, we're still gonna be taking this one here. Very, very close set of games. And uh, we just need one more attack and we got it. We have a Sash Zam that we saved. And we have this big Blissey. You have to hit a Rock Slide and not get parried. Can Blissey just grind it out? Blissey can just grind it out. We don't even need to show the fact that we're Sash Zam and we do be taking those. And uh, yeah, just a perfect example of like how to respect your opponent's setup options. All those Pokemon either had something like a uh, Swords Dance or a Rock Polish and we didn't lose the game. So we do be taking those all the way to the bank. Oh, and they don't want to play. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was going to I was gonna play a second game. They don't want to play. We do be taking them. Espeon, huh? Oh man, it's going to be hard getting rocks up on that Espeon. I think there's nothing really wrong with leading Scizor. If you were to lead Ninetales to check my Scizor or bring in Ninetales to check my Scizor, uh, we just go right to Blissey and then we're fine. And we would probably just stealth, sorry, Seismic toss out the Espeon. So Scizor's a great lead here. We can also think about leading Aerodactyl, but that's a little bit weak to Scizor, and I don't want to get you turned into my Rotom, so I think leading Scizor is absolutely fine. If we can get up rocks, we can stop that Dragonite from like completely reverse sweeping us as well. So let's go with it. Big Scizor energy. We can pop bullet punches or U-turns on the first turn, and you know, if we were to break the Ninetales Sash with a U-turn and then come with a Garchomp, that'd be great. And we can also just soak a Sleep Powder here, as long as they're not trying to break the Sleep Cause. Yeah, let's go for a U-turn. Let's see if they put up, like, a Toxic Spikes or something. Sleep Powder. That's absolutely fine. Like, we don't realistically care about this. It sucks we're asleep, obviously. But, like, let's say they switch to something next turn. Um, to try and, like, set up, like, maybe switch to a Dragon or a Melodic. We can just wake up and, like, really punish them for it. There's not that much Roserade can do in this situation. Yeah, Sub's absolutely fine. So, they're gonna be, like, a Sub set. Probably a Leech Seed. So, we're gonna want to break that sooner than later. Uh, we're probably going to wake up this turn, I'm assuming. So they're probably going to go for a Leech Seed this turn, right? So we'll just soak the Leech Seed and switch. Toxic Spikes, that's fine. We'll just go right into Blissey and then hard switch back into Scizor. Scizor's asleep. All right, we'll just wake up and defog then. Because, like, it doesn't really matter what they do. 
What do you need to do? Weak Steve? That toxic spikes ain't it, Chief. It is not it. So defogs up. No more spikes. You wasted. You wasted your life. Like I got the defog, bro. You can put me back to sleep if you want. You can miss it as well. There we go. So I'm gonna break your I'm gonna break your sub, break your life. Come in with Garchomp, pop that sub. Block your sleep powder right there, and then Garchomp's gonna basically just win the game. Cool. I'm so happy Rosary doesn't have HP Ice anymore. Like, Technician boosted HP Ice. HP Ice, Hidden Power, used to be a 60 base power move, which means Rosary used to get the Technician boost off of it. It was so good. It used to use uh, HP Fire as well a lot back in the day. Not anymore. Show me that Sleep Powder. Oh my goodness. What are you going to do, Chief? Uh, let's see. Is it even worth it to go for a Swords Dance here, or should I just pop an EQ? EQ would KO from there. I actually think we're in a Swords Dance. I think a Swords Dance is nice, considering we outspeed almost every one of their mons, other than Espeon, which might have D-Gleam, but I'm not really that afraid of it, because I have Leftovers ticking. I think we're going to be in a good spot here. I think we are. Yeah, you got to switch out. Like, you can't break the sub. So, like, what possibly can switch in that can break the sub? Melodic ain't going to be it. Ninetales can set the sun. It can be sashed. But, like, it's not even, like, a necessarily good situation. Like, we... Imagine if I just Earthquake there, by the way. Holy moly. Dude, I need to get me a hand. I need to get me a, a nine tails. I want to use a sun team. All right, Swords Dance is big right now. You know, the past few BDSP videos, I have not used a lot of Garchomp. And that's just because, like, we got so many people saying, that's you just win with Garchomp every time. And I will say that you're co completely correct. I do literally win every single game with Garchomp. But that's just because, like, Garchomp's so freaking cool. Like, it, Swords Dance substitute sets are just... They reward you so much for correct play, and it just feels right to use them, right? It's just like, if there was one thing that was my play style for like singles, like this is literally it. Like, I really, really do like the sub swords dance. I like being able to come in and analyze what your full movesets are to see where you can punish me using sub, use sub and then punish you even more for not respecting my ability to use substitute. It just feels so good. It feels like it feels like winning more from a situation where I'm literally behind and it just feels great. Um, you're probably sashed here. Reflex fine, that's why we still, I, the reason they use Reflect here is the reason why we actually used Earthquake even though Dragon Call would've KO'd. Uh, Cause Earthquake might, it's 20 base power stronger. Nice Reflect bro, it's probably gonna be screens. Um, but Dragon Call would not have gotten that KO. Whereas, uh, EQ definitely does. So we do be taking those. And now we can use rocks for free. I actually think Garchomp's just going to go on a running riot and just win this game. I think we are going to sword Dance versus the Scizor. And just wall him out. Dragonite. Dragonite's a good mon. Uh, we'll be able to two-shot that. So we're going to break uh, multi-scale here. And we don't have to worry about weakness policy because it's not in this game. And then um, we'll be able to kill him after the turn after that. And if you go for like a Dragon Dance or something weird, like this is just a good example, I guess, of how busted Dynamax is. If Dynamax was in this game, he could Dynamax this Dragonite, Airstream against me, and not only would that break my sub, but it would give him the speed boost to be able to outspeed me next turn. Same thing goes for like if he had a Scale Shot or something. Like all the additions of like Sword and Shield completely change how to play the game, and they don't change how to play, uh, you know, these BDSP formats, which are just, they're not easier. But, like, it just feels right, you know? It just, it just feels good. Oh my gosh, I did so much. That means that that's probably just how much actually that... I, I don't know how to say it. Like, let's see. Should we sub him out? And let me get confused? Because, like, I don't know if, like, that's just... I don't know if he's in a focus. I can't actually tell. I feel like I would have done more, right? He's... Or oh, okay. He took the, uh... He's orbed. So it means he's in a focus, not just how much damage that does. Which means we actually... We could do two different things here. The fact that we don't... We outspeed basically everything else, so we don't need to use sub. But we could do sub three times and then hope that he gets confused. And just let him use like waste himself to life warp. But I think Dragon Claw is just fine here. We'll just take him out because he's locked into Outrage. We don't need to like elongate the game any more than normal. He probably is happy that we did that instead of just subbing. So we can send out Melodic here. And then what I'll probably do is like a mixture of like... I will see if he sends up Melodic. I'm surprised he didn't send up Melodic earlier, realistically. That means he probably doesn't have, like, the answer with Melodic. So we can probably eat at least one Ice Beam. There it is. We can eat one Ice Beam from here. I'll go for the EQ. There's a Reflect up, but we can obviously just crit through it. 
Let's go. <gasps> yes. Just give me those crits right through it. Don't act like I didn't say that was going to happen. Oh my god. Then the rage quit. Yo, I'd rage quit too. I, I mean, I wouldn't because like, you know, I don't rage quit because I actually have like, you know, morals. But like, we do be taking those all the way to the bank. Yes, please. Holy moly, I'm so good at this game. We take those. Reggie Steel. Okay, that means Garchomp's gonna be good here. Rotom's gonna be good here. Rotom's actually a really good lead because we can just Volt Switch versus the Azulf. And the one thing you can switch into is Flygon. If they switch into Flygon, I just switch into Blissey and we're fine. So Rotom's a good lead here. I don't know if I wanna I don't know if I wanna lead Rotom though. I actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna lead Aerodactyl and I think I'm gonna try and flinch out the Azulf. And if they lead Reggie Steel, we'll just hard switch to Scizor. Because Registeel is a good mon, but it's not like it gets body press in this game, so I don't have to worry about it. And Alexam's still a late, a great late game sweeper versus uh, likes of like Crawdon, Venusaur, and Flygon. We have super effective movers versus all those, as well as Azelf. So we still got shots here, um, but I'm gonna go with the Aerodactyl. And if they lead Registeel, I'll just taunt it. I will actually just taunt your. I will just taunt your Registeel. I'll be like, grow Registeel, more like taunt. All right, Azul. All right, so what I want to do here is Rock Slide to break Sash and potentially flinch. If I do flinch, the second Rock Slide will KO. And if I don't get the flinch here, they set rocks and I just go to Scizor, right? Or we trade rocks back. I do think that I'm heavily rewarded for going for an early rocks. They're Scarfed Azul. So they're revealing Scarf Azul this early in the game. I'm so happy I didn't leave Rotom. Like, I would not have liked to take that damage from Rotom. That means you probably don't have rocks on it. It's probably, it looks like it's also physical, judging, judging by how much damage it did. So it's probably like, or sorry, explosion, zen headbutt, things like that. Maybe one other physical move. Maybe, maybe rocks in that last spot. But like, who wants to eat a rock slide? You want a Registeel, that's fine. That's fine. It would suck to get, you know what? Do we taunt here? Like, what are we afraid of happening? Like, flash cannon would suck here, right? But if we flash cannon it, we can bring in Garchomp relatively free. And I don't know if we die to the flash cannon. Like, we can just taunt it. Like, what else is it going to do? I'm going to I'm gonna taunt it. I wish I rocks here. I know I should rocks here. You know, I'm going to rocks here once. And if you punish me by a setup move, well, you know what? I'll make it so you can't get that many of them. Don't sub, though. Thunderbolt. That's fine. That shouldn't even KO. Yeah, we're fine. Don't pair, please. Yo, we take those. So you have Lefties and Thunderbolt. And I can just hard switch to Garchomp here. Or Blissey. Like, either of these are both good. I don't see what you do against Blissey. I'm going to switch to Rotom, actually. And I'm going to use Trick to give you my Choice Scarf. This box Flash Cannon, if they have it, and Thunderbolt. Stealth Rock. It's fine. Surprised they didn't do that last turn. They probably thought I was going to taunt last turn. Alright, so we can go for Hydro Pump. And they can switch in Venu. They can switch in Venu on either of these. I doubt they're Black Sludge. We could Volt Switch and come in with our Scizor. I'll go for the Trick. If I give a Venus... Or okay, awesome. We're great. This is so good for us. We basically just neutered this Pokemon. Awesome. Have fun with that scarf, bro. I took your leftovers. That's great. That's absolutely amazing. We take these leftovers ticks. We could bolt switch here if we want, but we don't have to. Um, we can just Thunderbolt here. We can even Hydro. Um, I think the Thunderbolt's better because it pins the uh, Crawdont and the the other Pokemon. And also, like we will actually just outwall them. We will. You can't rest. You're stuck using Thunderbolt. Now, if I can take this thing out, that's a win for us. It's a huge win. If you want to switch in the Venusaur, I'll go right into Blissey, I think. Or, or uh, Scizor. Yeah, if you want to switch in your, your Venusaur, I'll go for it. I think we're, we're going to be fine here. Um, I'm absolutely fine with just Rocks being up in this matchup. It breaks your Flygon. It breaks your uh, Crawdont. Your Registeel is completely useless. We just got to not throw from here. And we should be fine. It's great. Yeah. I don't think that's an issue. A Hydro. I cannot die here. And then, like, I don't want to switch to Blissey just yet. I don't want to switch to Scizor. Oh, it's Lefties. Okay, that's... 
That's dicey? That's dicey? Okay, what if I hydro last turn? You would have been you would have been risking it all over here. I'll go for the hydro here. I wanna see what they do. I wanna see if they sub. That's basically we wanna be able to break sub. Um and I will use all of my hydros to stop those. If I have to. Like the fact that we just hit this is huge because it'll drop you low enough to where you might not have enough health. That's a bulky high that bulky boy. Yeah, I'm not switching, bro. I'm not gonna switch. I'm literally not scared of your flag on. It's like the weakest thing in the world, especially if you have that much health. The fact you have lefties means you, you're you not that scary. What did you think I was switching in? Scizor? Mm-mm. You're, you're gonna have to go for dragon attacks. You're gonna have to go for dragon claws. And like, I don't realistically care. We have a three shot on you. This drops you one up to where you can't sub. Yes, please. Roost, okay, all right, so it's sub, roost, EQ, dragon attack, which means Scizor is the right play here. I guess I could try and crit. It's a unique set for Flygon. He's gonna roost again. Definitely. We can't Thunder Wave it. We don't need to go into Garchomp. We don't need to go into Scizor. We could always come into Scizor, soak damage, U-turn, deal decent chip, and then come with Garchomp and pin with Dragon Claw. Because if Rotom's outspeed, that means Garchomp does as well. Yeah, let's do that. Come and soak a little bit of damage here. If they Earthquake, they Earthquake. If they go for a Dragon Attack, they go for a Dragon Attack. I don't care about Dragon Claw. If they just have Dragon Dance as their last move, because um, they've shown uh, Roost EQ, like, they might have, like, Dragon Dance, Dragon Attack. It might just be, like, Dragon something. I don't even, like, I don't even know what you realistically do here with this Flygon. I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it, bro. And we can just soak you and you turn out safely. EQ's fine. We'll soak this easy. Yeah, you don't do anything. So big U-turn. You can do about 30%. 35 maybe. 30% after uh, leftovers. And then we come with Garchomp and just get a pin with Dragon Claw. Yes, we take rocks damage on these. And we're they're the ones that are forcing us to take more rocks damage. But if you look at their team, they have like Registeel Octillery. Crawdont, Venusaur, Scarf, Azelf, and this bulky wall flag on it, which would, would have literally just been better off as a Garchomp, I think. At least Garchomp's scary. I'm not scared of this thing at all. I kind of want to sub in its face, realistically. Because uh, I know they're going to come with the Registeel. But we'll go for the Dragon Claw. We'll see the Registeel come in. Oh, they're staying in. Can you think you, you, think you can eat this? Bro, I'm a Garchomp! <laughs> I'm literally you, but like three times better. We take those. Now you're running out of checks to check my Rotom. Alright. Is it Azelf time? No. Is it Registeel time? I'll pop the sub. I'm pop the sub for this. Like, what are you gonna do, Giga? I don't want to get Sleep Powder to Leech Seated, so I'll pop the sub. I'll see what you're working with. I haven't shown sub in this matchup yet. So, this is potentially game winning if they go for Sleep Powder. Survey says, what you got? Giga Drain's the right play here. We just need, ah, oh, that didn't hit you. That's not it. We don't even need to Swords Dance, I don't think. I will though. <laughs> Cause then we can just one shot them for sure. They're, they're Black Sludge, so they're not like Sash. Yeah, we'll, we'll Swords Dance. And they can Leech see they can Giga Drain and then we'll just kill them next turn with uh, probably a Dragon Claw. That way in case we cover the Azul switch in. SD baby, let's go. I think it's more. I think it's just better to do this play because it gives me the plus two for future turns instead of just getting a two hit KO on Venusaur. Petal Blizzard, so they're locked into this now, right? That doesn't even kill me. Okay, I'm surprised it did. I'm really surprised that just KO'd me. I wonder if I should make the lame play and just sub out here. No, I don't think so. I think we can actually just get. They're stuck using that, right? Petal Blizzard, you get stuck using. So I'll actually just take the KO here. Because I'd rather be at full health versus that Azelf. Should definitely KO. Yep. So Venus down. Scarf Azelf, um, it's going to go down. Crawdont will go down. Uh, Octillery will go down. And uh, Redisteel will probably also go down. If I would have like subbed out and tried to like fish for a confusion hit from Petal Blizzard... Um, Correct me if I'm wrong. Petal Blizzard. No, no. I'm thinking of... Um, what is that move that I'm thinking of? What move am I thinking of? The freaking Vileplume move. 
You guys know what I'm talking about. Correct me in the comments, chat. Appreciate it, friends. Awesome. Big Dragon Claw time. Pedal Dance. There we go. Thank, oh my gosh. Took me forever. Pedal Blizzard is something that hits everything. You can totally U-turn me and come with your Registeel, but you're going to take more chip damage. I'm basically just going to recover that with my leftovers. You're lucky I didn't just sub in your face. Your Registeel is going to come in and it's not going to get anything done. If you want to come with Octillery or Crawdon, it's also not going to have that much fun. Octillery is gone. Yeet, delete, repeat, Garchomp, big busted. And the weird thing is, like, everyone's going to be like, that's it, you're just picking on it. You know, bad tier teams. Like, this guy has freaking Flygon and Azelf. Azelf's OU. Flygon might be still OU. So, like, they chose this team. They looked at their Pokemon, they're like, this is what I want. And uh, they just weren't ready for the smoke. And same, same play. Psychic won't kill me, or Explosion shouldn't do it either. Psychic won't do it, especially if you're like, you're mixed like that. Yeah, not gonna be enough. Almost, like a crit probably would could have taken me out, but we take that thing out, you have Registeel, you have Crawdon, and that's about it, right? I don't know if I get KO'd by an adaptability boosted Aqua Jet. Well, I mean, I still have my Rotom left, so like even if you do KO, I just bring out Rotom. And just Thunderbolt City. Take me down to the Thunderbolt City where the grass is green and the crabs get EQ'd. Oh my gosh. Don't try and drag nuts in my face, buddy. That's not going to work. Yeah, we take those. All thanks to Substitute. Remember, we blocked a leech seed on the Substitute that led to this happen. Or happening, I guess. You guys can do the exact same thing in your own games. If you guys want to check out the uh, Poke Pace for all the Pokemon that I use... That's all on Patreon for the most part. I think I've covered almost all the EV spreads I used on any of these Pokemon. And any new Pokemon you see me feature, like my Gastron in the last video, or like the Mighty Enna in the video before that, I think I just upload those to the Discord part of our Patreon, or the, the Patreon part of our Discord. And, uh, you know, basically we're just good to go. Remember, this thing's scarfed, and we're still gonna be able to outspeed with Garchomp, so we should be able to get the W here. Good set of games today. I'm gonna try my best to upload more BDSP content, maybe two videos per week. These don't perform nearly as well as the Sword and Shield videos, but I will say they're a lot more fun to play. I like the general, you know, menus in these games a little bit more. I like everything about this format a lot more, and uh, generally these are just a lot of fun for me to wait, make. So sorry for everyone that, like, doesn't get to see Sword and Shield videos today, but uh, thank you to everyone that made it this far into the BSP video. If you made it this far, please leave a comment saying, I made it this far just so i can see who actually gets to the end of the videos that would greatly help me out if we can get at least 10 people saying i made it this far that means that's like really elongating the amount of watch time this video is getting on youtube which will make me make more in the future so thank you so much for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you are looking forward to the next video and other than that peace out and i'll see you guys next time